Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing gibbous moon in Libra. This reading is for the full moon, the upcoming full moon in Scorpio. And this reading is for the astrological sign of Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Aries. Holy Spirit, Angel, Guide, Spirit, Guide, what is the full moon message for May for Aries? Anything else with this deck, Holy Spirit? The full moon message for Aries. Spirit. Okay. Mm, this is definitely your card. <laughs> and we're taking this one. You're very close. Mm. Loyalty. Mm. Aries, you're the emperor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're very loyal. You're very loyal. The emperor is very loyal. He's somebody who you can count on, you can depend on. Is somebody questioning your loyalty? I don't think so. Maybe your loyalty is inspiring you to do something. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Hmm. I hear somebody saying, you know, but I'm loyal. I was loyal to you and you did this to me. And as a result of what was done to them, they feel like they're not enough. Like some, how they're the reason that they experienced the loss. It's their fault. Hmm. Spirit definitely wants you to move away from that mindset um it's time to break free you know the for every ending there's a new beginning um time just moves on right there's no clear delineation between the past and the pet present until you get to the next day and time just continues to move on and so as it moves on, he wants you to think of where you're headed, and that should be your focus. Mm. Yeah. You know, the waxing gibbous moon is all about focus, and that's this moon today. Mm. So he doesn't want you to focus on somebody you may have been loyal to, who rejected you, who, you know, may have left you, not taken care of you. Who, this is about somebody not being loyal when the other expected them to be. Um, and now they're internalizing it. So I'm not sure who I'm talking to, Aries, but tell me. Leave a comment. Tell me more, Spirit. There's something that you're passionate about and you've been working on it. And that's where your focus needs to be. You need to let go of whatever you perceive as a loss. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Somebody was disloyal to the other. Yeah. And, and that's what the full moon is about, letting go of this loss. It was a loss, but that's not a slight on you. You know, that doesn't mean that your value is diminished. It's their loss. Okay, Spirit just made it clear. It's their loss. So some of you come into this reading experiencing a loss and internalizing that. And Spirit wants you to flip the script and let you realize it's time to bring that type of mindset, those thoughts to an end. Um, that's part of your shadow work this month. And that's part of this full moon, letting go of whatever 
that past loss was, somebody you may have been loyal to, and they didn't earn it. They didn't deserve it. And so you should not internalize it. There's something about it that still triggers you. It, it still is very fresh in your mind. And so therefore, um, it's time for you to let that go because there's so much more. The gibbous moon is about focus. Like I said, there's so much more for you to focus on. And that's what he wants you to take action on. Because moving and focusing on what you're trying to achieve and what you're passionate about will take the focus. It will help you let go of this loss, this betrayal, this person that wasn't loyal. Tell me more, spirit. Okay. Aries, the full moon. Tell me about who is loyal here. Who is loyal and, yeah. Hmm. Four of swords. Six of wands. Yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is, um, you know, somebody was wondering, I was so loyal to you. How could you treat me like this? You know, they are just like, when they think about it, when they really go deep, it's like they're so shocked by the fact that somebody was disloyal to them, that left them like that, you know, that made them feel that they weren't enough, uh, that this five of pentacles energy is here. And every once in a while, even going forward into the future, things will trigger you regarding this loss. That's how deep it was, Aquarius. But Spirit wants you to realize who you are, New Moon and Aries. You're the Emperor, and it's time to let that negative narrative go and to recognize with the Six of Wands who you are. And in order to help you Get over this hump. Focus on your goals and objectives. There's something else going on in your life other than this that should be brought to the forefront. That's going to require your attention, your focus. That's what's going to allow you to break free of the past. Focusing on what you're passionate about and attracting that passion to you. Focusing on taking action, wands. You've got a lot of wand energy here. Leo, Aries, Sag, you are wand energy. Mm. Mm hmm. So I see you working on some real soul searching issues that actually set you free, you know, and they help you to begin this transition. Tell me more. Yeah, you're letting go of whoever was disloyal. Mm. Yes, indeed. Yes, you are. Look at this. Definitely letting go. I mean, you may not even see how close you are to achieving your goals because this has your attention. This loss. It, it, you know, this person, they could have had a lot of options. Um, but I know that they cause a lot of confusion with the Seven of Cups. They cause a lot of confusion in your life. They cause a lot of distractions. That's why Spirit wants you to just walk away and free yourself. Break free from whatever this disloyalty was. Whoever was disloyal, cut them loose. Mm. Yeah, because you know what? Your desires are here, your achievements, um, refocus on that, uh, reapply effort. Yes, that's where your whole transformation takes place, where you begin to not pay the past any attention and apply more focus and attention to your desires, your aspirations, your goals. Mm-hmm. Letting go of anything that is a blockage to a new beginning with the Prince of Pentacles. You know, anything that triggers, causes conflict, um, 
Anybody who tries to distract you, uh, just create arguments, be disruptive, all of that's just negative energy to distract you from your achievements, your desires, thinking upon what's important right now, Aries. The King of Wands. Yeah, this a lot of wand energy is here to help you get through, to help you take action that brings you closer to your goal. You have a lot of fresh energy here. Page energy, page of swords, prince of pentacles, prince of swords, you know. Um, you have a lot more to learn. Tell me specifically this person who was disloyal because they had a lot of options. Making Aries feel like they're not enough? What's going on here? Or is Aries making them feel like they're not enough? Somebody's walking away. Yeah. Being guided to. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and make the first gesture. That's right. And the first gesture is to allow this transformation. It's like you recognize this person was disloyal. Um, they chose somebody else, you know, but, and you did feel a loss. It hurt, but it's time to let that energy go. That's the energy that spirit is, wants you to pay attention just enough to let it go. Letting it go is at the center with the Eight of Cups. It's like walking away from this person who maybe questioned your loyalty or wasn't loyal to you. Yeah, recognize who you are with the Six of Wands and let's take action away from that towards what you're really trying to achieve. Go on and make the gesture. It's time to make the move for sure. That's what's going to bring about your transformation. Taking action towards what you're trying to achieve brings your greatest transformation. Mm. And, you know, forgiveness. Um, this not only brings a transformation, but it brings a healing. Healing issues. That's going to benefit your love life. It's going to benefit you in general. You know, whoever may have been disloyal to you, forgive them. It's not even worth it. Just let that go. Heal it. Let the past go. This is all about a transformation, bringing the past to an ending and making a gesture towards what you want, staying focused on what you're trying to achieve and not letting chaos and negativity divert you. That's right. Because the chaos and the negativity is just deception. It's just deception. Um, somebody trying to hold on to you. But you know what? They were dishonest, disloyal in the past. And they're still going to be dishonest and disloyal in the future. Spirit is saying, you need to just let go and focus on Focus on your desires, what you're working towards. What else? Aries. You know what? The truth is, this is about you loving you. Yeah, walking away and loving you. Taking a leap of faith that you're better than this and you deserve more. Because you're not being valued in this connection. Consider moving on. That's the truth. The truth is, they're not valuing you. You know, you need to love you. The transformation is all about you beginning to love you, understanding that you're worth more. Yeah, a lot of deception here. You know, um, they have false beliefs about the relationship. I don't know. <laughs> mm -mm. Ooh, somebody could even be living a double life, you know. Um, someone could be engaged. There there could be other relationships going on behind the scenes. This person that was loyal, you have so many cards here telling you to walk away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't want you to see that 
you are the emperor in May, that you have the ability to do and be anything that you want, that you're able to transform yourself and therefore you're ready to transform this situation because you're done with this. You don't even want to be with this deception. And you know something? You realize you're not being valued in this connection. You need more expression. You need more of everything. You have the death card twice. Mm. That's what this full moon is about. <laughs> Bringing an end to this situation. What else, spirit? Aries, May, full moon, energy. Yeah, you know, it's time for you to plant new seeds. Um, totally do something different. This full card is about just breaking that previous stronghold and freeing yourself and doing you. You know, allowing spirit to just work with you, through you. Yeah, you have so much authenticity. Listen to your instincts. Listen to your inside. Mm -hmm. That's that emperor energy coming through. Yeah, they are just a drama seeker. They just like drama and attention, and they're deceptive. They're only fooling themselves. Don't let them fool you again. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So many things. If you came here wondering, should you just uh, walk away from this connection? I, I think you've heard it quite clear. Yeah. This is not a solid foundation. You can't build anything off of swamp land. And they... They were deceptive from the very beginning. You questioned their loyalty. Well, this is why. Look at all of this deception and all of spirit telling you, release under this full moon, let go. What's the bottom line? Let go. Pluto tells you to let go. Mm -hmm. Focus on achieving your goal. You're very, very close. Yeah, this person is scary. They're non-authentic. You don't even know. <sighs> You're a little shocked by the level of deception, the low life level that they went to. Because this disloyalty was like, wow. <laughs> wow. You didn't even know there were other people. Mm -hmm. With the Seven of Cups, though, we had an idea that there were other options. But... This whole situation ultimately regarding you is about you freeing yourself from this toxic situation. This full moon is called a flower full moon because you're being encouraged to plant new seeds. All right? That's what I have for you, Aries. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and let me know what your situation is, I'd appreciate it. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you for the love. I'm going to keep you in this situation in prayer. And for those of you who haven't listened to the readings for your other signs, and for all of you, until the next moon phase, namaste.